Everybody knows that the Barbarian is a slow character and can't beat the D2 endgame in world record time. Or can he? Absolutely beautiful Tristram though. Absolutely beautiful Tristram. I set out to make the most powerful Barbarian on Battle.net and defeat all six uber bosses faster than anyone in the world. This was going to be my most difficult challenge yet, and along the way, I learned some crazy things about this game that even longtime veterans of D2 never knew about. Let's take a look. Uber Tristram speedrunning is a bit of a bragging rights challenge where players have put together builds and posted runs on YouTube for years now. But a sub two minute run has never been done on the Barbarian, and we were not only trying to achieve that time, we were trying to smash it. For the building blocks to this barb, we consulted our longtime theory crafting friend, Master Otis. But even he had his doubts about lightning fast speedrun times with this class. The concept of attack rating and defense is usually a joke in this game. It dictates how often your character connects with his target, and unlike the paladin or assassin, the barbarian doesn't have any skills that ignore defense and always hit their target, adding another layer of difficulty to this. But the barbarian has a skill that can reduce his target's defense by 100%, practically guaranteeing a hit. Problem solved, right? Not quite. I never realized this before, but Bale and Iswal can cast Chilling Armor. This is a skill that boosts defense and is added after debuffs, so they will still have thousands of defense even after the Barbarian's battle cry. But how are we going to solve this problem while maintaining necessary mechanics like massive damage, deadly strike, and crushing blow all on the build? For this challenge, we chose a mercenary that most players never even consider, unless you've watched some of Kano's 1 to Uber world record speedruns, runs that are a lot longer and, one might argue, more legitimate. We hired the long-forgotten Act 3 mercenary, the Fiery Iron Wolf frequently casts Enchant, which is a skill that boosts your character's attack rating. This gave us nearly 30,000 of it, which is more than enough to hit the two trolls in the run. Now, we didn't have to completely rely on Battlecry, and could mix it up with some different and devastating debuffs. One of them in particular ended up giving this build its name. The Judge is a barbarian build that brings the prime evils to justice as fast as possible. The name is derived from his use of the Gavel of Pain, the only item in the game with amplified damage charges on it. This curse allows the build to capitalize on broken crushing blow mechanics and also ramps up his base damage output from grief. Players have long considered this rune word to be overpowered, mainly because of its added damage mechanic, but believe it or not, some of its lesser-known abilities push this build over the top. Damage to Demons is a level-based ability on Grief, and it doesn't quite work like most people think. This attribute, in particular, is lumped together with all other sources of that damage, amounting to absolutely savage output versus Demons. And it just so happens that nearly every boss in this run is just that. Having a good amount of base attack rating is still necessary for the times we use AMP, so it forces us into Angelics. Unless there was a better item we could use in place of a grief. The good news is, there is. The bad news is, this item does not exist on Battle.net because it's super rare and most players would char see it. Finding an item like this would theoretically lead to marginally better times than Grief, but it practically needs to have all of these abilities and they need to be close to perfect. Damage to demons, even on a weapon, is treated like off-weapon damage, much like the damage we see on Fortitude. This armor also has cast on it, which gets us to a crucial breakpoint when using Naja's Puzzler. Yeah, this is how we navigated the maps. It only has 69 teleport charges, lol, but if we couldn't do it with that many, we were f***ed anyway when it comes to setting a record. This build was nasty. We tested so many skill setups. Frenzy Barb, Throw Barb, Hybrid Barbs, all before realizing that the Whirlwind Barb was just the best boss killer. With this setup, we started blasting through uber bosses, and it was beginning to look like a sub two minute time might just be possible.
It's up two, baby. On a barb. <laughs> we had done it. The world's first sub two minute Uber Tristram speed run on a barbarian. But we weren't going to stop there. This build was good, but it was missing something. And while I tell you about what we did, I'll also tell you about something that you won't want to miss on G2A, the website where you can buy game keys and gift cards at massive discounts. In addition to the other wild things that can happen in a run, bosses heal constantly and can spawn with even more life than usual. We needed to address this if we wanted to move fast, which is also what you'll need to do on G2A if you want to take advantage of the deal this month. In addition to the savings we already see on this site, you can get 10% off your order if you spend 25 euros. This is only good for the next few days though, so don't wait. Switching to duress made a huge difference in the speedrun, much to my surprise. The added crushing blow was nice, but having a massive amount of open wounds made it difficult for bosses to heal in the heat of battle. We now needed to use a caster belt, however, because reaching a reasonable breakpoint is also something that you need to worry about. But what you don't have to worry about is security on G2A. They even use PayPal for added security on your transactions. And if I'm being real, these discounts go on frequently, so get in the habit of checking this site before purchasing any game. Not only are you supporting the channel, but you're also supporting yourself. These discounts are nasty. Check it out and let me know what you find. I was surprised at how much of a difference this actually made. And now, with this subtle but extremely important change, we were able to do this. With that, we had set the world record for the fastest barbarian Uber Tristram time on Battle.net. The most regrettable thing about this time is that it could be so much better with the perfect gear. Remember the sword I mentioned? Offline, I was able to get times in the mid-120s, and it might even be possible for a sub-120 on this run if everything goes perfectly. But where is this sword? And most importantly, who will be the one to wield it and beat this time. Thanks for watching.